Restoration. Good evening, you're welcome to Restoration with Stacy. We're brought to you by Kind Cats in La Palm Royal Beach Hotel, Real Plant Estate, special ice mineral water, and special drinks. A fabulous thank you going out to GTP New Style for my fabric. Thank you going out to Yas Washing Powder and Yas Sanitary Pad, and of course, Hooch Corn and Choco Flakes. If you're having breakfast and your choice of breakfast is not hooch cornflakes or hooch choco flakes, please, you have to think again because th that is your smartest breakfast choice for your family and friends. I would also want to say a very, very big thank you to DDP. I also like to say a very big thank you to Sir NS Farms and Logistics, importers of Obatampa rice, Victoria rice, occasions rice, gold rice, diamond rice. Now that Christmas is soon to come, please make sure that every time you're out shopping, every time you're out to buy rice, your choice is of course, say NS Farms and Logistics range of rice. And also remember, Majid's wedding is almost here. It's on the 1st of August. And definitely we will be eating occasions rice at the wedding. Yeah, so you're all coming, right? You say yes, do you have the invitations? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you the invitation. <laughs> well, a big thank you going out to Nancy Black for my makeup, to Roji of Roji One Studio for my hair, and of course, Ophelia of ABS Collection. Ophelia, thank you for this old school look. And today, I can't seem to get my hands out of my pocket. I'm just loving this old school style. And I'm saying a very big thank you to Real Plan Estate. Thank you very much. Most of us wait to say that we wish we could see what is really ahead of us to make certain moves. But there are people who do not have the privilege of seeing with their eyes, but they see with their minds and they move towards that work. On our show today, we bring to you a man who is visually challenged but has not allowed it to wear him down, and he moves on each day with a lot of strength. Please show some love. Welcome to the end of the tunnel. I see a bright light shining through, and it's just for you. Give it up for him one more time. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your name, where you come from, and what you do? Yeah, I am in a what you doing from young. I come from a Kroponi in the Eastern region. <laughs> and I am a broadcast journalist. As some people would say, a radio presenter. And I'm visually impaired. Did you say you're a broadcast journalist? Yeah, I'm a broadcast journalist. W where did you train? Uh, I was trained with the uh, Regent Africa College. Um, Auntie May, who brought me here, was my lecturer, one of wow. my lecturers, yeah. So what, what really motivated you to get into radio? Um, uh, when I was born, at the age of 10, I developed interest in radio, and uh, when I got to, I went to the school for the blind. I thought I could help a uh, single parent and needies through radio, through the medium of the radio. So, uh, from the school for the blind, I tried as much as possible to go to uh, school of journalism, but I couldn't get. So I went to Regent African College, which is also a journalism institute. Were you born with this challenge? Mm, I was born but partially sighted. But later, I had five surgeries. But later, in the year 2000, the last surgery, I couldn't see again. The doctors removed the cord and they couldn't fix it, so that was all. And what, what did you do about that? Because I'm sure if the doctors did something, 
that couldn't be fixed and they actually messed it in the process. Mm. They could have been taken to court. You could have fought for your case. Did I you try? I didn't get anybody to help me. So I have to leave it as that. And is, is it too late? I don't think it's too late. It's not too late, but there is no help. Wh which hospital was, was this? Mm. Where, where was the surgery done? Yeah, it was at Google. And uh, uh, since that time, have they tried to call you? Did they give you any support? No, no support, nothing. So I just forget about it and life must go on. Mm. So who financed the surgeries? Mm, even the one who financed it is dead. He's a, re a Presbyterian Reverend Minister. He, he is dead. So and he born. financed all the five? No, the first two, uh, the last two, yeah. But the first five, it was financed by a white man. The first three was financed by a white man from Germany. I'm still baffled because that doctors are supposed to correct conditions. They, they are not supposed to make it worse. So if he could see partially why do you perform a surgery that puts him in a state where he can't seem to see anything again? Well, they say uh, the eyeball was going wrong and they have to let it stay at one place and they couldn't do it so. But can, can it be worked on? No. Uh, I Is met there a, any hope? I, I met a doctor and the doctor told me frankly that he said, Young, I want to tell you something. If anybody will tell you that your eyes can see again, he's a liar, or, except God who can open your eyes. So I just forget about it. But do you believe in God? Yes, I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian. I'm a strong believer. And, and I you believe, believe that one can, day... He, there could be a miracle. Yeah. So when, when that news was broken to you that it would take God... And if not God, you should totally forget about seeing again. How did you feel? Oh, at first I was like, okay, let me take in some poison and die. But since I'm a Christian, until me, um, some people talk to me. I have pastor's friends who I pray with. And they say, hey, guy, you have a lot of ideas. You can do all things through Christ who's training you. So. Yeah life must go on. Mm -hmm. So I decided not to take in any, I mean, concussion and I have to force myself in and make it. So how, how difficult did life become for you after that news was broken to mm, It's difficult because after that, you know, visually impaired people in Ghana here, if you are doing something, Nobody will help you. Mm -hmm. So when I go to the School of Journalism, um, the uh, Regent African College, even for my first month, no, even the people there, nobody was talking to me until Auntie May came and said, hey, I know this guy. This guy is in Toledo, he is good. Until I, had, I touched the console, there so many people were saying, hey, Mr. Young, we know you can do it, you can teach us something. And I, I begin to tell them how to use the console and so on and so forth. So that is how. So they, they were actually looking for what they could gain from you? Yeah. How many years were you in the school? Mm, one, uh, one year, six months. So when you graduated, were you able to get any employment with any mm. media house? When I graduated, I sat in the home for about six months. Then Auntie May got a program at uh, Choice FM. Then I went there as a, one of the panel members. Then from there, uh, Kuvi Kapito came and took me to that is, another station, Great FM, that had been sold down. For there to, they maltreated me, so I left there. So, why, why did they maltreat you? You see, I was, I'm into, and I, I, I'm into radio and I know how it is. So whenever I'm trying to do something, anything, when I go on air, 
people want to hear me more than the other people. So I was like... A competition. Yes. So they managed to sabotage me and that's all. When you lost that job, did you lose it or you just resigned and said... Come again. Did you resign or they oh, asked I you I didn't to resign. There was some confusion at the morning show and they, they just sat the uh, host. So we all just... Decided to go. Yeah, yeah, withdraw. So now how, how do you leave? Who do you leave with? Because I know it's not easy. Um, living alone. In fact, it's not easy, but I'm coping. I, I'm living with my mom now, but I have to live on my own so that I can marry. Because women that I propose, they need their security. You see, uh, you can't take a woman to your mother's house. Uh, I mean... But have you found someone? No. When they come, because of their security, they just go. So now you want to find a place of your own. Come again. Until that woman, my main concern is someone to take care of you. Because until you find that Miss Wright or Mrs. Wright, who is going to be taking care of I you? I can, I cook, I do so many things by myself. I cook, I use the PC. Are you serious? <laughs> I say I cook, I iron my things. I can come and I can come and cook for you and your husband. I would love to. One day I'll, <laughs> I'll yes. come to your house. Yes, Auntie Mavis, let's arrange it. <laughs> okay. I, I would want to eat your food. Yes, I I cook. I do. So, you ask Auntie May where her house is. I I go there myself. Alone? Yes, I go there alone. I I've been to. Uh, your husband's radio station before. I went there alone. W were you trained? Yeah, when you go to the school for the blind, they train you. They will leave you to do... To be dependent. Yes, to, to depend on yourself. Nobody will take care of you. Or that one, they forget. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> So, so what were some of the things you learned from the school that has really well, helped you? We learned how to wash, how to iron, how to cook, how to do so many things. Even last two weeks, I went to Kumasi myself. I can go to Wa, Tamale. I just... What do you go to do at all those places? Oh, Kumasi, I send some application letters to some stations. So you still have the passion to do radio? I love radio. I'm into radio. My body is radio, my heart is radio, my everything is radio. Because I, I just love the passion with which you're saying, because Ray Charles it was like, he loved music. Music was him. He, everything about him was his music, because that was the only way he could express himself for yeah. people to really understand and love him. Yes. Is that the same thing radio makes you feel? Yeah, um, me, I have so many talent, you know. I am a musician, I write, I compose, I sing. You sing? And I'm also Can a motivational speaker. Come, come again. Can you sing me a song? Okay, let me sing one of my songs. I've registered it so. It's your own. Oh, Nibia Danfu. Yesu Christo, ye ye you are ye. Oh, oh, ni bia dan fu. Yesu Christo, ye ye you are ye. Dan de nina, fanam fam fam fanam, sanan tan tan David Christo 
Dande Nina. And I play the drums too. I'm a drummer. Wow, so many talents. Yeah. I am a motivational speaker. I, I inspire people, I motivate people. And I like helping single parents. I love them and needies. One day, I have to help the needies like me so that they can be independent. Dance. Restoration. When, when you wake up every day mm -hmm. and you get on your knees to pray, what do you ask from God? I ask God, one, for long life, knowledge, wisdom. And I also ask God to help me so that I'll get to, I'll stand on my feet so that I can help the needies like me. So you, you don't even think of yourself more, but you no, think of no, others. No, because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I have, to, I have to put that zeal in them so that they can also be on their feet like me. So any time you hear of your brothers and sisters who are visually challenged, who are begging on the streets, who don't want to do anything because they think it's the end of their lives, mm -hmm. what do you say to yourself? If you had a chance to meet them, what advice would you give them? The advice I'll give them, one, I'll say, okay, there's a saying in Akan that when you can cry, yeah. So they should take the money, invest in that money, and do something else for them. Too. Because you, no, you, nobody, they won't give you the money to the end of your life. Mm -hmm. So they have to stop and use that money to do some investment. Even you can buy a car, they get money, they get enough money. You can buy a car and hire a driver to do trotro for you or something else. Do you, do you intend to get into any form of business aside radio? Yeah, um, when I get, if I get into radio, I will, I will gather money and open a needy school, a, a private school for the visually impaired, school for the blind, oh. and some other schools again. And also um, get a rehabilitation center for single parents who doesn't want, who don't know what to do. That's you. Yeah. Was your mother a single parent? Yes. How, how was growing up for you? How, how many siblings are you? Ooh, five. Five. So yeah. how, how how was it growing up? Mm, it was. It wasn't easy, but our. For me, I was isolated, so. Why, why were you isolated? Is it because you see, of your condition? Yes, because of the blindness. They were helping, but not too much. Yeah. They, they got tired along the way? Come again. Did they get tired along the way? Not that, but, not that, but um, you know, in this world, eh, somebody may help you, but not to ask you yourself. Self what? Yeah. What are some of the challenges you face in your condition? My condition? Yeah. Um, some of the challenge. You see, when I was coming here, even when I was coming here, I bought the car. I went and sat in Numaka. The, the driver told me he would, uh, I would get to Numaka because before I would, uh, I would take another car to come here. And I asked somebody in the car and he said no. So we were going and I told the driver that, oh, driver, I didn't know yes, and to say, me fa, eh, saka, no, 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 mama fa. And to fa, me call baby, and he say he will not do that. So he took a policeman to tell the driver to take me back to Medina to take Labalika. Wow. That's a good policeman. So if it wasn't the policeman, he would have refused to take you back to Medina. Yeah. So I faced so many challenges. If I have my own accommodation, a lady will come to me. Maybe the lady can be my guide than Auntie May. You see? 
my wife can be my guide than Aunt me. You are very interested in the lady part. Yes, because because uh, uh, it is not good for a man to live be alone. <laughs> So you want your companion, yes. someone you could talk yes. to. Yes. <laughs> Auntie May, you, 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 have, you, you have a big task ahead of you. So how, how do you intend to do it? Do you have friends? Me? Yeah, do you have friends, lady friends? Oh, yeah, I have lady friends. I have lady friends, but... I have not been proposing because, you see, now the ladies, some of them, mm, mm, how well? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, I want to know. Oh, they, so, you, a higher crown. A higher crown? <laughs> oh my God. So, um, you, you said you're a staunch Christian. What do you do in church? I play the drums, I teach. Uh, chorus says how to sing. I teach people how to sing. I play the drums. I do so many things in church. Oh. And how does your church support you with, the, with oh, your condition? My pastor, Reverend Alex Bachi Adam and the wife, they are good. They take me as their son. They have been helping me. They have. Yeah. So what, what you, you said it was after the last surgery that you couldn't really see again. Mm -hmm. I would want to know what are some of the memories you hold so dear during the time you could partially see? Come again. What are some of the memories you hold dear? Memories? Yeah. Of the time you could partially see? Mm. So, I, um, I remember, you know, in 2001, eh, I was going to the stadium to watch this Kotoko, the stadium, the time that the stadium did that happen. Mm -hmm. I like watching football. So like I was going to watch that match, but because I have some recordings with some people at the studio, I couldn't go. You couldn't go. Uh -huh. That time, oh, I could watch football. Uh, I act, I'm an actor. I because at that time you could see partially, but yes, you, you I, made the best of it. Yes. I, when I was partially started, yes, I could do so many things. That has, that has helped me a lot. Would you love to see again? Yes. If, if Jesus come and say, Young, what do you want? I say, Master, be a many mom in tell I would say, Master, be a So now that you're looking at settling down, what will you look out for in a wife? As a good Christian, kind, caring, can read and write. Um, humble, and I don't care about the tribe. Because in God, in God's kingdom, we are all one. Mm. You, you don't really matter where they come from. Yeah, I don't, I don't. For that one day, I don't matter. I don't care. Okay. But are you a virgin? Come again. Are you a virgin? No. <laughs> I don't want to ask when. Please. You know, I'm having a very good time with you. Please, please do. I should ask? No, 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 no. No, I won't ask when. I, I, that, that you, is you want enough. to ask when? Yeah. You want to ask when? If you would tell me. Well, oh, higher crown. Higher crown. <laughs> you know, you're so, you're, you're so full of life. He's so full of life. That's what I love about him. I, I, I am a man of radio, that's why. Wow. Do you love him? Yeah. I love him. <laughs> so when, when you leave here today, mm -hmm. what, what are some of the things you would wish, aside your sight, what, what are some of the things you would want to do to As improve on yourself and your career? Because I know you're a man who loves education. Mm -hmm. So with all the education, mm -hmm. what would you want to improve on yourself? You see, I am a motivational speaker. I, I just love 
talking to people. I just love advising people. And since I am into radio, I, I want to do my radio. <laughs> For that one day, I want to do it. Aside radio, I want to advise people and help them. I want to help people. Go to places, yes, talk go to, to places, them. Talk to single mothers and the needies. Comfort them. That Nkechi, God is in control. I will use my life. Even for me to be here, it's an achievement. Somebody would, will fight and he will not get it. He or she will not get it. So I can use it to talk to people and they will be, I mean, also... Thank yeah. God. But I, I am really proud of you. And in, in Ghana, you don't find most organizations helping people like you. Mm -hmm. But I think um, I saw one gentleman who is visually challenged, who reads the news on ETV. And I was, so, I was so impressed. I said, wow, who gave him this opportunity? Because it's mm -hmm. so rare. Mm -hmm. And he does it so well. Mm -hmm. So I think we should encourage you and any other person who has any form of a challenge that is not the end of the world. You can still do something with your life. Yeah. I mean, your downfall is not your end. And I'm so proud of you, how you're just forging ahead, positive thinking. He wants to get married. I would love to be at his wedding if he finds a wife. Because it's so lovely that he hasn't given up on life. He's not giving up on hope. He's still optimistic that something good could still come out of his life. Please, let's give it up for him. So I think this should be a very big challenge to all organizations in Ghana, that you do not always have to employ people who are, what I would say in quotes, perfect. There are people with challenges who are equally intelligent, who are smart, who are wonderful, who could do the job better than people who are perfect. So please, we should open our doors and embrace people who have challenges, people who think nothing can really work out for them because they are not like you and I. And I think this should be a challenge to all radio stations in Ghana. Please, if you really want Enoch on your network, there is our WhatsApp number, which is 020-511-7382. Kindly, kindly WhatsApp us. We're going to get in touch with you and get Enoch on your radio because he has humor. He's been making us laugh in the studio, and I'm sure on radio he's going to be awesome. So please, this is a challenge to you. I'm guaranteeing for him. I'm his referee. Please, this is a new movement. Get Enoch on radio. If you have a radio station, please, I'm begging you. This gentleman is talented. He's been to the radio school. He's not just a good speaker. He is funny. He is a singer. He can make your radio exciting. So please get in touch with us. Our WhatsApp number is 520 Enoch, yes, before I let go of you, I want to find out, do you think that Ghana as a nation, I wouldn't say the government because mm. the government is you and I, mm. Ghana as a nation, have we been fair to people like you? Mm -hmm. You see... I, I will say yes and no. Yes, because they, it seems they are trying. No, because they have, they, they have not tried at all. Look at um, our roads, the pavement. Whenever you are going to consult, even they didn't consult the disability council. Look, now that they say, oh, they have the disability bill, it hasn't come. We don't know where That's it is. Does it even work? I don't know whether it's work. Even we have so many laws and the laws are not working. How can the disability <laughs> <What's that? laughs> So uh, they are they are trying but they are not trying. Yeah, the country is not trying at all. But one thing I should let them know, you see, it is in the Bible and I always blame some of our pastors that they should tell the country the government that they should help widows, needies, and uh, people with disabilities so that the country will go on. Go and check it. It's in the Bible. If you don't do that, the country will not go on. Look at America. Look at UK. 
they think about people like us. If I'm in, uh, being, I'm in UK or in America, I would have get a job at the radio station. But here, I'm struggling. You see, so they should try and help us. We can work. We are also human. We have flesh, we drink, we eat. I mean, we do so many things. As, you yes. get married. Yeah, we marry. We take care of our children. I mean, we sleep. We have, we have, we sleep, we have peg, we kiss, we do so many things. Restoration. Is, is there a particular radio station you would want to work for? Mm, for me, every radio station that will have me at heart, I will go and work with. It's, it's now like on top of our issues. Now it's a campaign. We need to get a radio job for Enoch as soon as possible. And I know that all radio station managers who are watching us will get in touch with us. And let's say in some few weeks, we should get you a radio job. Amen. I, I believe so, that Amen. we will be able to do that. And before I, I let go of you, you've been, I know that you're so passionate and it seems there is something pressing you about this marriage thing and your quest for your freedom. Mm -hmm. So of all the things we do, and mostly we get people to support the cases that we handle. But I am passionate about your case. So I am going to talk to Auntie Mavis and we would get you your accommodation. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I'm, I'm doing this one for Enoch from my own pockets. Amen. Because I really want to come to your wedding. By all means, you come and single. I will. <laughs> I will, just that my voice is a bathroom voice. Oh, but for you, voice. for you, I will sing. Yes. For you, I will do that. Amen. So, Auntie Mavis, can we kindly start looking for a place for Enoch so he can be on his own and start looking for a wife? Because it, he seemed very passionate about it and he, he seemed to need that company. So, kindly, let's work on it as soon as possible so we can move him on to the next step of his life. So Enoch, the accommodation issue is sorted. Amen. Amen. And I'm sure very soon I will be calling Aunt Mavis again on the radio station issue. Very Amen. soon. Amen. But we, we've started working on something and Amen. I know that God is going to prevail. Amen. And I love the fact that you believe in him and Amen. you know his timing is yes. perfect. Yes. I just love that. Amen. I know he will show himself and he Amen. wouldn't let you down. Amen. I want to thank you very much for coming today. And I have some few items for you. Amen. Now, Auntie Mavis will help you to take them home. From our sponsors, we are giving you Yas washing powder. Amen. Since you wash, you can have a good washing time Amen. at home. Amen. And I would really want to visit you one of these days to see how you live. Am I permitted to come? You can come 24-7. 24-7. Yes. Okay, so I can come with my crew yeah. to see how you live? Yeah. Okay, then you're going to cook for me? Yeah. Okay, then we will be coming. Then I also want to give you huge conflicts. Do you love conflicts? I like it. You do? We mean Chibibia. Chibibia. And you're with the conflicts. Pa, pa, pa. Your friend who huge. Huge conflicts. Huge conflicts. Now your side one is Choco. Papa B. Choco face. Mm. Me, me be. Okay. Now, coffee, now, could dinner, would do you now? Was massa young cotton conflicts are no catch on, say, and your conflicts, Kaku, and your conflict, Bia Kaki, Papa, Papa, no, no, so why the captain's band? Hey, Papa, and where she, yes, I am now a more, I a friend of true fast rice. Amen. Until only a bush and phoning in a bit to me, Eddie. I home so you papa room. toothpaste, a Any toothbrushes, toothbrush, no. I had a mount, a woman be brain, two bits, a chair, a woofy. I'm a beer, and a booper craft, a spare, a shell, madam. 
Bible say If you who knows on the program So we've got all things are possible. No, what what is your typical day like? My typical day. Typical day. Yeah, what do you do in a day when you wake up in the morning? It, when I wake up in the morning, if I have no place to go, I study. I study. I learn a lot. Books. I study and I listen to radio. I listen to radio. I like entertaining people, so I listen to radio. Uh, how how uh, radio stations some presenters do present their morning drive, afternoon drive, evening drive, newspaper review. I listen to it, and I also pray a lot. I pray a lot. My life is prayer, and prayer is my life. Uh -huh. That's all. Are, are your siblings still around? Siblings, yeah. And what what is the relationship between Ooh, you and the your relationship siblings? is. Mm, Cordia, yeah. I will say Cordia, you see. It's good. So when, when they look at what you have become today, this great man who has been to school, who is able to do things on your own mm -hmm. without their aid, mm -hmm. what do they say to you? Shock. Because I am a stranger to failure. Mm. I was Amen. born a winner. Amen. So even if you put me under this platform and my time comes, God will lift me up. Amen. Amen. So, your, your father's people, um, have you been able to make contact with them? My father's people? Yeah. Well, I was, when I go to a crop home, I pass, I pass by their house, I just wave them in. You don't even go inside? Well, I don't have to go there. But when if, you, okay, me, whenever I'm going to a place, like if I'm coming to your house, mm -hmm. and my, my um, itinerary is I'm going to your house, I'm not going to Auntie May's house. If Auntie May calls me, I'll just wait and go to your house. <laughs> that is me. I'm a Friday, Friday born, and Friday people are independent-minded people. Okay. Go and check. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And quite stubborn. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> So who is your uh, favorite radio presenter? Mm, I always listen to Rembo. So the drive, I listen to their drive. And many times I want to, I, I try uh, one day, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Wow. And to say, 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 you have an opportunity to sell by your radio. Mm. What, what kind of radio programming would you want to do? Oh, mid morning drive or drive time. Wow. Because I'm not going to be normal. What do you to say? Oh, no, I'm going to say, say, I'm going to be nice, I'm going to be gorgeous, I'm going to be so 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 Okay, I'm going to say, when you're ready, opportunity. Okay. Now, mid morning show. When can we intro? No, first day at work. What would your intro be like? Okay. Okay. In fact, you say, by the way, before I mess up, you're frozen. You're from Stacy. Okay, it's here for Stacy Radio near the Super Duper Hitters Radio Station on the block. Now, when you are here, I say, young, you can't even go there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. I'm Eh, me di chia kasi eh, efri o nyankum ponti asufuono ho. Eh, bremu ni na greetings from the Most High God. You know, as an American, we say God, and Ghanaian we say God. It says, "I na make one more India man." Na me di ma ono so so no. Di me di anya me kwa me ni me produce a pa pa pa. Waje captains band. Oshe kambu obu bi anti ni nasi. On na me ni no ekunkoni adende ni ocha seven no. Na ope WhatsApp line na zero two four three eighteen thirteen thirty eight. They just say, oh, I'm so happy. I'm happy with them. I'm happy with them. They say, you're crazy. You're very motivated. You're motivated. Yeah. They say, I'm going to try to make sure you're going 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 to make sure
When we can only say one ninety five point eight, Sezi Radio, Papa pa, pa, Kampo. Pa. <laughs> <laughs> my husband buy that frequency for me why <laughs> I'm, I'm so impressed Yamin Shrao. Yamin Shrao. Onye wo kese. Onye wo kese. Wakuma suwa diye nina onye mao. Onye wo kese bi mao sa. Onpecha wo mfri adomu nsi adomu. Amen. Me mane ma wo nai en kambo. Amen. Onpecha wo nsi shro. Amen. Na amansen nina enhu. Amen. Se nyame na obo wo no. Amen. Obo wo yiye. Amen. No yi ni yem ene na kume mne bo wo. Amen. Yamin Shrao wate. Amen. Pacho, permit me na minya de kitwe. Me pacho. Pacho, ubit me so mizem. Pacho me so. Pacho so mizem. Minya ngupon. Wo ni a open na wo ye. Amen. Wo ye nyame a wo ti ase. Amen. Na wo ma ni a oni bi enye bi. Amen. Ewrade programs be bree. And na e koso wo TV stations about 100. But program we Ma eme ye ke siye. Amen. Ma asin tre. Amen. Ma e nyi. Amen. Yes, opera room for wa America diye. But wu nyame, wu se sa, wu bin timi yu siya no kwa ye. Ma program yi empano hon. Se opera room for timi yaya wa America, ma onye nen sin se yi. Ni enka se ye wu nyanko po honwa ye. Sira onen asifu wo. Eme komu ndi oni ni kunu nene ma da. Amen. Eme program yi yi ya se da. My sponsors upon sponsors upon sponsors. Emra program is so. Every day, baby, be on in the cubet and a microphone. Echi, do a bear so be two woman. Every day, woman who in free we are say. Now, you who say, Woe, we on yammy, crew nina, audience about any now. You be up my swap at the amano. We yes to demo and I'm a bomb pay. Amen. I have goosebumps. Nami Shrao. Amen. It's my patcho. Meta was a beam. Na Obana so minim say nyame de neighbor. The auntie maybe it's my patcho. Kindly get our accommodation sorted for us. Na ready you no so. Yeah, be start here to one more. Nay nim say nyanko pombe pijan and sa. Amen. I know you have been wowed at home. Because throughout the interview, I just found myself saying, wow, wow. These are some of the beautiful handiworks of God. If you are sitting home with two eyes, two ears, two hands, two legs, a mouth, a nose, full body intact, and you keep blaming God for your situation, for your condition, you have to start checking your life. Let Enoch's story be a U-turn for you. Stop blaming God and start putting things together to better your life. Because God will not move unless you move. You have to make a move for him to bless you. So we should stop sitting down at home waiting for a miracle. There can't be a miracle when there is not a movement. The movement will come for the miracle to chase it. How do you wait for a miracle when you're just sitting on your bum doing nothing? I know today's story has started changing your mind, your impressions, your ideas about this thing we call life. And he has said my line so many times but I will beg him to use it again. Enoch, we can really do all things to through pray. Christ who to strengthens us. us. See you next week. Welcome to the end of the tunnel. I see a bright light shining through. And it's
Yourself free and tell 